Hi, Emmanuel Saints, and welcome to another inspired post for the day. My name is Kevin. Uh, I just want to share something just so amazing with you, um, something that, is, that literally happened last night, and it, just, it was just for me, it was just the Father's way of reminding me, His Son, um, of, of, of who, I, who I am, and who He's called me to be, and who He's called you to be. And I just trust that you're going to be blessed by this testimony. So as some of you may or may not know, um, I have the privilege of, of um, running the uh, ACTS support group here at Emmanuel, together with um, my wife and some other amazing leaders. And um, we've been running this now, this, this program, this ACTS support group for a few months. And it's challenging. Uh, it's challenging because you're dealing with people who've got radical needs um, and have got some, some of, some of whom have got some significant challenges. And, and when, you, when, you, when you adopt the approach of, of preaching the gospel uh, rather than following self-help programs, it, it's quite challenging because you, you literally are taking God at His word where He says that the, that the gospel is the power of God unto our salvation, healing, and transformation. The gospel is the very power of God to do all of those things. So this is what we teach and preach. And so it's, at last I was just amazing blessing as we were, we were saying cheerio to one of our, our folk who, who attend the meetings and someone who has for years struggled with alcohol abuse. And when this person first joined the group, um, they were incredibly negative about our approach and, um, and yeah, and didn't really see the value in what we were advocating of how transformation can just happen from the inside out. And, and so what, what transpired last night um, as, this, as this beloved um, soul is heading, heading overseas, um, this person basically shared with the group of how the, the desire for alcohol has completely left. Um, there, there's not even an inclination for it and, and um, they expressed basically that they don't even know when it happened. All they know is it's happened. And so it's just, it's just one of many stories like this. But last night was just incredibly special because of the, the, the attitude that this, this particular person had had and when they, when they joined our group. But to hear this testimony last night, just absolutely. And I said to some of my friends, I said, if, if we had actually just started that group purely for that one testimony it would have been worth it and so um, that just really blessed me and then during the during the actual meeting itself um, I just felt very clearly um, God say to me to, to stand up and and go to each person where they were seated and to just gently place my hand on their shoulder and to affirm God's love for them and and that he's going to take care of them basically and as I was doing that, um, there was a, a one gentleman um, who's had a, a, a back condition for several years. And his back, is, his condition has got so bad that he's had to have a table specially modified for him so that he can get his arms into an, an appropriate position to work with his laptop so that it doesn't actually cause him pain. And, and last night, as I placed my hand on his shoulder, his, this back condition was instantly healed. And and it was just profound to hear him sharing this testament. He couldn't stop talking about it. And, and as, as I drove home uh, last night, I had to go and fetch my children who were with their granny um, at a nearby um, residential estate um, at Mount Enchcombe. And uh, I was weeping. I, I literally many times had to dry my eyes. I was just weeping as I just felt the love and the presence of God. And when I got to the gates, uh, to, to, to go through the security process, I was still, I still had tears in my eyes and I, the, these guys looked at me rather curiously, the security guards, and they said, well, what's wrong with you? And I proceeded to share with them what had just happened this evening, uh, last night, sorry. And um, it, it was this uncanny. The, the one guy immediately asked me for prayer. He had pain in his feet. And as I prayed for him, he just looked at me and he went, how? He said, uh, the pain is leaving my feet. And, and then the other guy, uh, I prayed for him too, and then he darted off. I think he had to go and catch a taxi. Um, and anyway, so I went in, fetched my kids, 
And as I was driving out, I, I came to the same checkpoint. And all of a sudden, the security guard came rushing out. And it wasn't the two guys that I'd prayed for. It was another security guard. And uh, his name was Bongani. And he said, I knew it was you. I knew it was you. I knew it was you. And um, I said, hello, Bongani. And this, this particular guy, Bongani, um, worked at one, of the, at, the other, at one of the other gates on this estate. And uh, probably about a year and a half ago, uh, he had heard of a, another lady that I prayed for in the state who had a broken neck from a taxi accident, who got healed instantly when I uh, just sat next to she sat next to me in my car, and I told her she would get healed as she sat there, and she told him the story because he saw her leaving the, the estate without her neck brace and had wondered what had happened, and she told him about this guy in this in this bucky with this with this branding on, and uh, so when I stopped at the gate the next time he asked me to pray for him because he was practically legally blind and it was on the verge of losing his job because he couldn't operate as a security guard with impaired vision and um, I laid hands on him that day and his eyes are perfect and so he came rushing out and he said to me my eyes are still 100% and thank you so much and I, I, I share that, that story with you because A it's a testament of Jesus but what, what I shared with, with, with um, Sue and Greg earlier was that it was the Father's way of reminding me that this is what we call to you. As scattered servants, this is the life we call to you. And it was just a radical encouragement for me because, you know, in the, in the light of what's going on in the world, we, we have to fix our eyes on Him. We have to, we have to constantly remind ourselves of who we are. And, and these testimonies that we share are going to do that very thing for you as they've done for me. And so I just, I just trust that this has blessed you. Um, stay strong. Be who God's called you to be and have an awesome day. Amen.